So this is the first video I've ever made on my iPad, so forgive the uh, cinematography, but I received a message on Reddit uh, from a guy who says, I hate myself and it's stopping me writing. Uh, every time I try to sit there full of ideas, plots, characters, I'm completely paralyzed. I don't think I'm good enough. I write two sentences, a paragraph, a page, I delete it all. I think I'm a pretentious piece of shit and they'll never write anything anyone will want to read. I feel like crying typing this because it's all I've ever wanted to do and I've written nothing. Now I've said before that if you don't actually do the work of writing, there's a chance you're not a writer and you should just think about not doing it. But I want to tell you something. As a writer, you are secretly a painter because you paint images in people's heads. If you're a novelist, if you're a poet, if you're a screenwriter like this idiot, you are ultimately telepathically painting things into people's minds. And that to me is what's so exciting about it. And I want to get into that because if you say, if someone said they were a painter and identified as a painter and felt like they should be a painter their whole life and never picked up a brush, never put anything on canvas, you'd be like, dude, you're not a painter. But that's not true about writing because you can write when you're alone in your head. In fact, that's where most of your best writing will get done in the car, in the shower. Putting it on this, putting on these stupid rectangles, that's just, that's the burden we have. We used to use these, now we got these. And I wanted to show you something cool because if you can paint pictures vividly enough, other people will be able to understand them just by looking at the symbols you created. So this is from the pilot to Dirk Gently's Holistic Detective Agency, the show I'm here in Vancouver working on. A black 1970s custom Dodge van stalks them, its diesel engine purring low and dark. It's been beat to shit, the automobile version of a rotting zombie, covered in nebulous, clumsy graffiti. The front of the van reads, oh no. From inside, we can hear barely contained electroclash music, thumping and snarling. A mural on the side reads, the Rowdy Three. So I wrote that a year ago. And the script has been through all of these various revisions and we've changed stuff, but that element kind of stayed the same because it's one of the key elements in the pilot. Now I'm in Vancouver. It's a year later, uh, more than a year later. Christ, it's uh, like 15 months later. It's raining outside. It's cold. I'm in an office with a bunch of people who I only met like three weeks ago. And when I come downstairs into our soundstage, a year and uh, almost a half later, there's one of these waiting for me. This is what you get to do when you're a writer. It's not always physical. And this isn't final, it's not done. But it's from my brain. And if you're a writer, you can do that too. You can create something that if it's salient enough and you, if you can paint the picture vividly enough, you, you end up creating than any special effects artist, any photographer, anyone ever could. You create whole worlds. So if you don't write it down, that just means it's trapped in your head. Don't waste time hating yourself. Either write or don't be a writer.